Oh, oh, hola amigos! Hi friends! How are you? My name is Rigo the Reading Monster. Oh, and I'm so happy you're here because today I'm reading my first book for uh for our YouTube channel here. Yeah. Hey, we're gonna have uh, uh, I'm gonna read you a whole bunch of libros. Libros is the Spanish word for book. Yeah. And today, for our first libro, we have this one. Look, I found such a funny, fun one called oops, Isabella and the Hungry Coyote by Keith Pollitt. Yeah. Should we read it? Vamos! Isabel and the Hungry Coyote. Isabel y el Coyote Hambriento. Written by Keith Pollitt. Illustrated by Esther Segeri. Coyote's stomach rumbled as he prowled the desert for something to eat. At the mouth of a small, dry valley, he stopped. His yellow eyes flashed as he spotted a girl in a red hood. She was holding a basket and picking desert flowers. Coyote licked his lips. He crept towards the girl in the caperuza roja. Picking flores, the girl in the red hood sang softly. La, 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 With his eyes narrowed into slits, Coyote crept closer and closer. The girl in the caperuza roja picked more flores. As Coyote drew near, he prepared to pounce. But suddenly, his stomach rumbled. It churned and gurgled and grumbled. Grumble, 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 grumble. The girl whirled around. Señor Coyote, said the girl, what do you want? Ay, said Coyote, as his stomach rumbled. I wanted to say, uh, good morning. Buenos dias to you, said the girl, as she took a step back. My name is Isabel. My, that is a pretty red hood you are wearing, Isabel said Coyote. His yellow eyes flashed. He inched closer to her. Gracias, señor. Thank you, sir. This caperuza roja keeps the sun from my face, said Isabel as she took another step back. I see, said Coyote. And where are you going? Licking his lips, he inched closer. I am going to visit my grandmother said Isabel, taking another step back. Oh? Huh? And where does your abuela live? asked Coyote. She lives at the end of this arroyo, said Isabel. Look, there is her casa. Isabel pointed to the adobe house at the end of the small desert valley. Coyote's yellow eyes flashed. He looked at the adobe casa and then at Isabel. He thought to himself, this girl in the caperuza roja would make a fine lunch. Ah, but if I wait, I may have both her and her abuela for my comida. Coyote sniffed the air and said, <laughs> What do you have in the basket? Spicy tamales and red chili sauce, said Isabel. Would you like one? Oh, no, said Coyote. I never eat tamales and chili sauce. They are like fire, like fuego. They burn my mouth, snapped Coyote. Coyote looked to the casa of Isabel's abuela. He said, I must be going. Goodbye. Adios, señor, replied Isabel. Coyote kicked up a little dust. His yellow eyes flashed as he disappeared into the arroyo that led to the casa of Isabel's abuela. When Coyote arrived at the abuela's casa, he found the door open. Licking his lips, he crept inside. The casa was silent and still. Coyote looked into each room, but he did not see Isabel's abuela. Just then, he heard Isabel lift the latch of the gate outside. Coyote scampered into the abuela's bedroom. He put on the abuela's nightgown. He jumped into abuela's bed and pulled the covers up to his chin. 
When Isabel arrived, she called. Hola, abuela. Are you home? Coyote answered. Sí, sí. Come in, Isabel. Isabel stepped into the casa and went straight to her abuela's bedroom. Coyote said, I am happy to see you, my dear. Come closer. Isabel approached the bed. Then she stopped and said, Why, abuela, what big eyes you have. Oh, my ojos are grandes, so I can see you, my dear, said Coyote. Isabel said, Why, abuela, what big ears you have. Oh, my orejas are grandes, so I can hear you, mija, said Coyote. Isabel said, Why, abuela, what big arms you have. Oh, my brazos are grandes, so I can hug you, mija, said Coyote. Isabel said, Why, abuela, what a big, big mouth you have. Ah, my boca is muy grande, so I can eat you, mija. Rrr, snarled Coyote. Rawr. Growling a terrible growl, Rawr. Coyote leapt from the bed. His yellow eyes flashed as he grabbed Isabel with his powerful brazos. He opened his big boca to swallow her. Isabel trembled as she looked into Coyote's white mouth. She squirmed to get free, but Coyote's arms were very strong. They were muy fuerte. Coyote opened his boca even wider. Isabel looked into his cave-like mouth and had a sudden thought. She flung the basket of tamales and chile sauce into Coyote's boca grande. Coyote bit down and howled, ¡Ay! Tamales and chile sauce! ¡Fuego, fuego! My mouth is on fire! My boca is burning! Coyote dropped Isabel and raced out of the casa. He scurried through the gate and scampered into the arroyo, howling all the while. Isabel listened to his howls fade away. Ow, 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 ow. Just then, the back door of the casa opened. A voice said, Hola, Isabel. I am happy to see you, mija. Isabel turned. She cried, Oh, abuela! And ran and hugged her grandmother. Isabel's abuela said, I was taking a siesta in the backyard. And I awoke when I heard a terrible howl. Isabel said, That was Coyote. He wanted me for his comida. But I flung a basket of tamales and chili sauce into his boca grande. You're a brave and clever girl, said Isabel's abuela. But abuela, said Isabel, I brought those tamales and chili sauce for you. Do not worry, mija, said her abuela. We can make more. Which is exactly what they did. The end. Fin. <laughs> wow! I don't think that Coyote is ever going to mess around with Isabel, huh? <laughs> or, or her grandma. Hey, do you know what I feel like eating now? Unos tamales! Mm, 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 with lots of chile. Yeah, spicy. Yum, yum, yum. Yeah. Hey, if you like the story or, and you would like to see me uh, read more books, más libros, don't forget to like and subscribe. Parents, uh, teachers, don't forget to share. All right? My name is Rigo the Reading Monster, and I'll see you until next time. Bye! <laughs>